Members of the Commission. You've already heard quite a bit of evidence uh, as well as have seen documents concerning this matter, and I don't think that there's any question that the basis of this order, for which DNL has appealed, is due to an intentional discharge of Brian by an employee of Hard Rock Excavator that really was instructed by Ben Lupo. As we all know, and there's, there's no, no disagreement about this, Ben Lupo wore many hats. It is true, at the time that he instructed the Hard Rock employee, he was also an officer in DNL Energy. He also held uh, uh, an officer position or was manager of many other companies, including Hard Rock Excavating, uh, which was a limited liability company. Indeed, as you will see from the evidence that will be presented, uh, he's been in court proceedings before regarding these companies. And there's been a disagreement among the shareholders about how the companies are proceeding, the financial matters, you name it. Uh, that has been before a Mahoney County Common Pleas judge uh, for nearly two years. As a result of the order uh, that was issued to DNL, uh, the real question before this commission is who was Ben Lupo acting on behalf of? If he was, in fact, an employee, an officer, a manager of several companies, what hat did he have on when he apparently, and as probably will be explained uh, time and time again, instructed an employee of Hard Rock Excavating, for which he was the manager, to go ahead and open a valve on a brine tank that was in storage and put that brine down the storm sewer, as opposed to disposing of it uh, in a lawful manner, such as taking it to an injection well. You know, there's a certain irony in the Chief's order uh, in this matter that revoked all the DNL's uh, existing injection well permits and denying all of its injection well applications. No one's disputing, and I hope we don't have to keep hearing testimony upon testimony. No one is disputing that it's not lawful to put brine down the storm sewer. Yet the chief, through his order, eliminated through his revocation and denials the principal lawful means of disposing of the brine, and that is putting it in a licensed, permitted injection well. In the period of great demand for brine disposal uh, in Northeast Ohio, the revocations probably uh, unintentionally have the net effect of prolonging storage and may perhaps even encourage others you know, to handle their brine in less than a lawful way. 